What's going on guys, it's Jake here and today we are going to refurbish this guy right here. Uh, pretty much all we need to do is open it up, clean it up, and put a new shell on it, which will be uh, this guy right here. So uh, without any further ado, I paid around 40 bucks for this. I think a little less, uh, so I bought it in a set. Or a set I bought it in a can't think of what the term is called at the moment a lot there it is bought it in a lot with another atomic purple Game Boy Color and a silver Game Boy Pocket and I already attempted the other one there might be a video out right now about it uh, the other Atomic purple Game Boy Color, but it's been giving me fits, so uh, I'm giving up on that for right now and recording another video doing pretty much the exact same thing. But yeah, I don't even know if that other video will see the light of day. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. So that came off really easily. And this is a pretty gross shell, uh, and it looks like at least this side is in pretty good condition. I don't see any rust off the bat, but we will see. Got three more screws in here. It's a lot nicer than the uh, the DMG Game Boys that are filled with screws, but. These three screws will get us to the other side of the motherboard and the screen. And lift these tabs here. And you can just go ahead and pull that screen out. And oh my. Yep, just like I thought. It's disgusting. <laughs> but all we're going to do right here is just spray the crap out of the motherboard with some isopropyl alcohol and do that get a little bit on the speaker here clean that up and then we'll flip it over do the same thing and do a little bit more on the buttons here because the buttons being cleaned is pretty important. Uh, we'll lay this out to dry over here. And while we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and take the screen out, just wiggling it back and forth and popping this up and out. And it's just as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna take my microfiber cloth and wipe off anything that might be on there and blast off the dust. And what we're gonna do is now take this out of the wrapping. Come on now. Just tear it open the good old fashioned way, huh? And put the screen lens off to the side, take these buttons out and we're going to use the original screws just because it makes life easier there. Actually, you know what? We're not. Maybe. I don't know. I'll decide when I get there. Uh, for now, what we're going to do is put these buttons in. I like that they separate them in the little bags, but it is quite annoying to open the little bags, so. And we can go ahead and put this screen right in there, and we'll slide the motherboard. Ow, that's pokey. <laughs> we will slide this motherboard in right there, and make sure that speaker's in. Make sure all the other holes line up, lifting up, putting the screen 
in, that is plugged in and now locked in. And then we'll go ahead and switch that to off, put that in, and we're gonna dump these screws out onto the mat. Oh my, that was a mistake. <laughs> Slide the IR sensor over the top of it. And, oh yeah, I gotta get out a smaller Phillips head screwdriver here. And just start screwing these bad boys in. Because these are aftermarket shells, they do tend to go in better if you use the actual screws instead of the originals. And should be able to just slap this on, make sure everything's in its place and lined up so you don't break anything. Everything should click into place here. Now all these uh, extra screws are all Phillips head. So whoever ends up with this later on won't have to worry about any tri wings. So that being said, everything seems to be locked in and loaded. We're gonna go ahead and put that in and the battery cover on. And before we put the screen lens or the sticker on, a little test. Beautiful. All right, let's blast this. What we'll do here is we'll take off the sticky back. Why didn't that come with it? I don't know. All right, and just slide that over the top, press down on it, and we're good. If you are noticing that giant scratch there, that is just on top of the uh, protective film, and thankfully they have that, because I would not be happy if there was actually a scratch on it, so. Usually I leave the protective film on, but I'm gonna need to take pictures of it. And I also wanna make sure that it's not scratched underneath. And it's not perfect. So it's already got dust on it, but that is a-okay. It'll come off. It's just a little sticky still, so. That seems to be it, I almost forgot. Um, that's not it. Is there no sticker for this one? Did I miss the sticker? Aw, oh, come on. There's gotta be a sticker somewhere. Uh, well, if I find it, I will put it on. It, yeah, it just looks like this, but I, that's kind of lame. Huh, where'd it go? Uh, I guess if you find it somewhere uh, within the video, if you see me lose it at any point, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll probably find it by the time it's posted if I actually did lose it. But yeah, this is, let's uh, test the, the game real quick, make sure everything's working. But, and Tetris is loaded up. I think you have to wait for this to go. I've played it so many times, but I always, there we go. Start works, A works, B works, A works, up, or <laughs> right, left, and down. Uh, you can't really test up, so, and this is not easy to play when you're looking through the viewfinder of a camera, but this is Tetris working. I didn't hit that button. Oh well, but this is actually working and this is awesome. Perfect. It's 
speaker works, everything works beautifully. So uh, I'm very happy about this. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button as we're going back into focus here. Comment down below, uh, where did my sticker go? What's your best theory? And uh, yeah, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and, and hit the bell if you want, I don't care. <laughs> but that's it for me today. So we're just going to end the video on a frame of this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.